nice and cold. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is F and I am a knitter. It has now been a year that I've been sharing with you guys my progress as a new knitter. My first post was actually last January. I started this YouTube channel last October, so I could say that 2022 knit-wise has been a very productive and growing year for me and I can't wait to see what 2023 has in store. For this video, I decided to go through all of my knits, make like a type of ranking system on the yarn that was used and the pattern and how I feel about it now. The first thing I actually finished in 2022 is this this hat, which I shared on February 20, 2026. 26, this was kind of like a challenge because I was going through a bit of knitting. Like I had finished all my Christmas knits and everything was kind of in progress, but nothing was getting done from January to February. And I kind of just wanted to have a finished piece. So I cast it on this very simple hat. This was just one skein of the Hobby Tweed that I had used for my Sunday cardigan by Petite Knit. This was just a free pattern that I found online on Ravelry. I just really, really wanted to have something fresh off the needles and to say that I had finished something. So the second project that I finished in 2022, I'm going to have to stop saying that, but these lovely little socks. These are knit up with the Gazelle sock yarn. This did take up one skein and I do have some leftover. It's a self-striping yarn. It was very, very easy to knit, fun to knit. And they feel really really nice this is a super wash wool it was a free pattern again that i found on ravelry this was the first sock that i knit up and it kind of kick started me to knit more socks i used to think that socks were really hard and challenging because they're on much smaller needles what i did do to get the sock to knit faster and to keep my mojo going was i knit the cuff then started the second one on separate needles did the cuff for this did the leg for both then the heel for both i was working them up at the same time it was a bit slower but I didn't have that second sock syndrome. Project number two. So these move to rank number one so far. So it is one, then two would be my hat. My next finished project is actually my Jenny jacket uh, right here. I recently gifted this to my grandma. It was knit up with two strands of Drops Flora and one strand of Brushed Alpaca. This sweater took me about two and a half months to knit up. I'm super, super glad I did it. Pattern wise, I'm not too sure I'm gonna, now that I gifted it, I want to make another one, but at the same time, the fact that it's a bottom knit, so you knit from the bottom up, and then you work one sleeve up, and then the other one, and then you attach it around the armholes, and then you work decreases up in raglan, while at the same time still doing the, the smock stitch, mock stitch. I'm not a big fan of patterns like that, because what ended up happening is I accidentally knit the wrong size, and because it was an open, coat a sweater and I was knitting bottom up I couldn't really tell that it was too wide till I knit the button band I love the sweater it is very very warm it is very very soft drops flora with brushed alpaca it works really really well as a yarn combination the pattern was it was kind of tricky in petite knits patterns I would say it is one of the trickier ones it just takes up a lot of yarn and a lot of patience I would say that that one trumps my socks so we now have the Jenny jacket the sock in the overall ratings and then the hat. So I finished that around March 30th. Now for the fourth one, it is actually the sweater. This is the Mexai sweater by Petite Knit. It is knit up with an alpaca yarn by Gazelle. I think it is called Gazelle Alpaca. I used up two skeins of white and half of brown. For the stripes, I knit the small. I actually love this sweater. I didn't pair this with a mohair because I didn't have a matching mohair at the time. To be honest, I should have because it pills a little bit, but I pass it with my machine. That's fine. I highly recommend this pattern. This was the first time that I did a folded uh, collar, which works up really nicely. It just gives it a nice clean look. This is still my earlier pattern. So one mistake that I did make was I noticed after blocking it, I had accidentally picked up too many stitches on this sleeve. So it kind of does have like a puffer. I guess that shows that it's handmade with love. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice it till it was blocked. I guess I can deduct a point. So I would say 9.5 for this one. Actually, I'm not gonna keep listing them. I'm just gonna make a little rank tier. So this is 9.5. Actually, let's be a little bit more humble, 9.3. Jenny jacket because of the pattern and the way it's worked up. I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. The sweater turned out to be super, super nice, but the sizing issue just kind of really, the 
socks, I'll give it a 7.5 because it was really relatively easy. And then the hat, I'll give it a 5. So that brings us to April already. Cami number four by my favorite things knitwear. This is the Drops Saffron yarn, which is 100% cotton and yarn. This pattern was actually kind of tricky. The increases and the triangles that were the front and the back just weren't matching, so I had to redo them. And then I changed yarn completely because I lost motivation with that yarn. Thought if I picked a new color, maybe it would feel like a brand new project and get me excited to work again. This was my first project knitting with cotton, and I now know cotton grows. Instead of growing in length like most wool projects, I don't know if this is just the saffron, but it grew like width. It got really, really wide. Whenever I wear this, I have to wear a t-shirt underneath. Um, I knit up a small, I have a fairly small chest, so the triangles don't really line up properly. I guess next time, if I do knit this one up, I will need to make some alterations. Either have less stitches in the center or figure out something because these, the lines here, which are supposed to line up like in the front, to me end up like on the side and just spread out weird. Maybe it is also with the stretching, the width. It just doesn't fit 100% the way that I would want it. I guess in the future I will just need to be more careful with tank tops, uh, maybe check more modifications and trying to fit it more to my body. I would say this is a 8. An 8 out of 10. So the next project I knit up, it was actually this sweater and it is knit up in alpaca yarn, some black random hobby yarn that I got in the mail. This is the exact same yarn that I used for the sweater, just held double. I ended up using three skeins of the brown and then the half a skein for the white that I had left. I will give this one a 9.3 just because I didn't have enough of the brown yarn. The sleeves are a little bit short. This was a gifted yarn so I couldn't just go and buy it. I just love it. Someone pointed out that these actually look like eyes and now that I look at it, I can't even stop but see the eyes. It is just a fun chunky knit to have around. My next knit is another tank top. This one is a Turkish yarn. It is this little bad boy, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. I just wanted something simple. It's a really nice blue. This is a mix of bamboo and cotton. It is a very simple cropped tank knit. This was my first time using bamboo and for plant yarns, I actually prefer bamboo. It just has a softness and a, a shine to it that just makes it feel a little bit more like high end. For next summer, I would love to knit with more bamboo. I will give this one a 8.9 because I like it. I'm just not, I like the yarn. I really, really like the yarn. I'm just not a fan of the construction. If I was to redo this pattern, I might just like, instead of just binding off for the collar and then picking up for the stitches, it kind of left a weird little gap in both sides of the arms right here which is fairly noticeable i would kind of change that and make the collar border a little bit thicker maybe add a few more stitches at the top to help with it so it is a fairly easy knit and the yarn is lovely so the next knit was actually a mother's day gift which is these lovely socks this was knit up with my knit picks yarn that i had ordered that pattern is actually from 52 weeks of socks i actually give these socks a 9.2 because they, I actually wanted to keep them for myself. I think they are one of my favorite pairs of socks that I have knitted, but it's kind of funny how your favorite things end up being gifted. If you have the pattern book, I highly recommend knitting the Kaisa sock because they knit up pretty quickly. The next knit that I knit up was around the month of May, which was also a gift knit for Father's Day. It is the zipper sweater, the man zipper sweater, which was knit up with hobby yarn. And I, I'm really, really proud of this one. I actually sewed on the zipper by hand. It was my first time sewing a zipper, so it is not perfect. For that reason, I will give it an 8.5 is for the construction because I had to redo it. Still, even though I redid it, knit a size too small. And at the same time, the zipper, it being my first zipper, I wish I had a sewing machine. I'm pretty sure it would have been a lot more straighter. I am surprised that it hasn't fallen off. It still looks amazing and hopefully will last uh, quite a long time. It seems this is kind of crazy. I actually gifted away most of my knits. The next sweater was actually a gift again. It was for my cousin's baby. The Knitting for Olives spot sweater. Baby. Baby spot? Child? 
the baby one. This was a very fun knit. I highly recommend it. The pattern is pretty simple, pretty easy. The only thing is the famous weaving of the ends. You guys know how I love those. The main loop was Turkish merino wool and then the spots were left over from the sweater. I had some more white left over and some brown and then the black was left over from the zipper man sweater. The blue was a hobby yarn, the light blue. The gray was left over from my Jenny jacket. I rate the sweater, I would say a nine. I say a nine. It was one of my favorite ones to knit up. The bummer is I can't wear it and the ends weaving. I was still trying to figure out how to weave in my ends at that point. So it is a little thick. I'm not super happy with how I weaved in the ends. When you knit stuff a lot of the times you look back and you're like what was I doing why did I think this was appropriate who came up with this idea of knitting it this way in May I had gone to Vancouver Island and I had picked up for the very first time my very first Noro yarn and I knit up this gorgeous t-shirt this was knit up with cotton viscose and I'm not too sure if there's silk this used up one skein so for that I give it a whole point 9.5 9.6. This is possibly one of my favorite summer knits. I love Noro. This really, I just love the color change. I don't know how they do it. It's so gorgeous. Um, this was the Monica Geller tee. And I saw that someone else had actually knit this with their Noro category Because this is a DK yarn and it was actually asking for a sport or fingering weight. I just did the changes that this person had done, which was to... Uh, change how many stitches you cast on and the knitting needles and Ravelry where you see where people knit up like what project and what yarn they used Someone did it with this one and I just copied uh, the changes and modifications that they had made and it turned out amazing My next knit is actually more yarn that I picked up on Vancouver Island in Nanaimo when I went with my parents and it is actually this t-shirt this is a self-made pattern and i want to actually keep making this pattern embellish it fix it up work what i did wrong because i actually hate this knit this is the first time that i designed my own knit and i decided to make a v-neck i do not know why i tried to do this but it didn't work out well the sleeves ended up being too small i just should have done bigger sleeves so i don't really wear this for a first t-shirt pattern that i designed myself i have it written somewhere as a pdf and i'm gonna re-knit this i will just do the modifications and try this again so i'm proud of myself but at the same time i'm kind of disappointed with how the end result is so i will give this one a 5.5 because it is not the worst i still wore it it is not the worst knit ever, but it was a nice attempt. This is the first version of my t-shirt. Now we are gonna do 2.0, hopefully this summer, and actually get this v-neck to work. My goal is to make the sleeve hole bigger and figure out the v-neck. As I am decreasing and increasing, I am working the band at the same time. I just wanted to make it simple, clean, not have to pick up stitches and do the collar. Just like work up the collar as I work up the v-neck. So that is something I need to figure out and get it done. Next is the gorgeous green hat that I knit up. I actually designed this pattern myself and it was knit up with a mohair from Sanjo Silk and some knit crate yarn. I think that I called this the forest hat. It has a lovely little detailed rib around the, the cuff of the hat. I never released the pattern because Maybe I could, maybe I could release this pattern. I'm actually pretty proud of the decrease at the top and how that ended up working up. The mohair and the wool worked up so nicely. It was so soft. So I'll give this one an 8.5 because 8.7, 8.7, because of the fact that I kind of gave up on it. Second hat of the year knit up in the summer because I am crazy. So then we have my second Noro knit. This gorgeous cardigan that I knit up for myself. I actually made kind of my own design from a cardigan that I had knit up in the past, which is a basic cardigan. The band is Cascade 20, 220 or 20. I added it because I just wanted a little bit more white, just something nice to go with the Noro. I think this was the Noro Ito. This used up two skeins. I would give this one 9.2 and 9.7. I'm gonna give this one a 9.7 because I actually wear it all the time. I just love it. <laughs> um, then we have this bad boy, which was knit up with this lovely silk yarn. It is a silk mohair from Sanjo Silk. I actually wore this one quite a lot uh, last summer. It is warm, soft, and squishy, but this took really, really long because it is a ribbed 
knit all the way through and it is knit on fairly small needles but I think that the mohair and silk gives it like a nice shine to it just makes it look more luxurious I do really really want to knit this one up again I would give this one a 9.2 fit is okay like I just wish maybe next time I'm gonna make the strap here bigger because I just find it gives a lot of shoulder and it gets like really tight here so I think if I make the arms a little bit wider it's just gonna be more flattering on me and be less shoulder so I highly recommend it as with most my favorite things knit first lovely great pattern designer my own design which is knit up with my knit crate yarn for the month of July it is this wrap around the tank top I still need to wash and block it my sister has sent me a shirt that was crochet which is a wrap you tie the back and it's a bow very simple tank top instead of trying to find a pattern why don't I try to make this myself this was the result so I would like to re-knit this and hopefully for the summer have a pattern out I'm realizing I'm saying I'm gonna be making a lot of patterns and I don't know where I will find the time what I have learned from this one I used on this bad boy because I did a double knit strap for the waist which I think turned out really nice. It gave the tank top a really nice detail at the bottom but it was linen, viscose, and cotton. This was kind of towards the end of summer. Hopefully I can wear it next summer and um, yeah. The next knit I knit up is actually the cable knit vest which I gifted to my sister for her birthday. I think the yarn I used was a bit on the thick side so it did hurt my wrist. It was wool on wooden needles so it was just like sticking so I really had to force but I'm really really proud of it for a first cable knit I think it looks gorgeous the pattern is by my favorite things knitwear and it was a really nice pattern and it gave me the momentum and the motivation to knit other cable knits I'll rate that one a nine next knit is actually one of my favorites it is very soft it was my first time knitting with drops mohair it is drops mohair and drops nord I honestly love this combination and I think it is my favorite drops yarn combination and the only alteration I would actually do is knit the collar on an even smaller cable because the yarn combination I'm not too sure if it's the drops Nord and mohair mix or something it's just very loose and flimsy as in in the design it's supposed to be a more tight neckband I did the correct stitches on the correct needle but yeah so the only thing I would want to do for the next time, make it a little bit more tight. I will rate this one a 9.8 because I think it is perfect. We are now in October. The year is almost over. The next project that I did was these beautiful highlighter pink socks, neon pink socks, a free pattern on Ravelry. This was yarn that I picked up in Knit City. I love these socks. I wear them all the time. That's why I do not have them. They are in the wash. I would rate these ones a nine. Funky socks are always in style, always in town, and super fun to have and wear. So back again with the gifts. And we have my beautiful, beautiful gazelle shawl that I knit up using the pattern from my 52 weeks of shawl. I ended up giving that project to my mom, so I don't I no longer have it. The yarn was beautiful and worked up great. It is Gazelle XL Merino. I will give that one an 8.7 just because of the fact that I messed up. I completely lost a skein during the project, so it is not the proper length that it should be, um, which is all my fault. The next is another gift. It is this beautiful color uh, shawl. This one was a free pattern that I found on Ravelry. It worked up super nicely. It was a very quick knit and it is knit up with hand dyed yarn and hand spun yarn that I got in Knit City. I had just used one skein for it so that was very exciting. It is a small summer, spring summer shawl, like a light one that you can wear indoors, outdoors. I believe the yarn was from Esri Spinza yarn. I really really like the color change. The next one I knit up was actually still yet to weave in my ends, but it's okay because it is not summer yet, is this gorgeous green uh, crop tank top. Knit up with Gazal cotton yarn. It is very soft and squishy. It'll make a lovely summer addition. I would rate this one eight, 8.2. I feel like I'm giving a lot of 8.2s. There you go, 8.1. Piece de resistance. The creme de la creme, sweater number 15. I love the sweater. 
I wore it over the holidays. It is the last sweater I knit and it is my favorite sweater of the year. So be aware if you guys plan on knitting this sweater, it runs big. It does get a lot lighter and longer. Some people have even added extra cables for the sleeves and I was hesitant to do the same because I was scared that it, they would be so short, but they stretched out really, really well. Um, so I'm glad I didn't because then I would have like elephant sleeves. Sadly, out of everything else, I mean, I finished a mitten, but I didn't do the second one. With my Knit Crate yarn, I casted and did one knit before going on my holiday. I haven't casted off anything new. I have six projects in the works right now, and they're all slowly being worked up. This is kind of how I work. I work at like many projects at once, and then I have a couple weeks where everything gets like done, 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 and then for three, four months, nothing new and then everything gets done, 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 done. I am pretty proud of everything that I've knit. The most disappointing knit is this t-shirt that I knit up. I really, really wanna to try to do this again. When working it up, I am actually thinking of recasting it on with this yarn that I bought, Lily Mani Sabri, beige brown yarn. So I am thinking of reworking a beautiful t-shirt v-neck t-shirt in this color. I think it would look great. So that is the goal for the summer. So I thought I didn't really knit that much this year, but now looking back, I actually knit. <laughs> also gifted a lot of my knits. I think in the end, I ended up gifting 10 or 11 projects, which is a lot. I don't know. I don't want to say I want to knit more because that's not the goal here. The goal is to make things I really like and will wear for a really long time. So I'm not really expecting to knit more projects. I would say I'm expecting to be able to make more pattern designs, create more with my knits. I'm really proud of myself. Knit-wise, I did a lot this year. Not just how many projects I did, but also starting this YouTube channel and getting all your feedback. This is just really helping me become a better knitter and keep the motivation up to be a better knitter. And I can't wait to see what I knit up this year and can't wait to see what you guys all knit up this year. How many projects did you finish? What was the project that you are most proud of? Please write that down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys along in the next one. Bye!